Uh, my name is Andrew Donigan, and we're at Walker Wheel South in Victoria. This is Jack. So Jack turns six soon. Bait catcher, aren't you? You're the best squid fisherman in the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the Cooter Craft Little Ram. It's the baby of the fleet. We come down here with the family and cruise around and um, yeah, catch a few gummies and a few flatties, a bit of squid. One day maybe a marlin, do you think? Yeah. yeah? Maybe. So I always wanted a little ram and one came up for sale and it was two weeks prior to Jack's fifth birthday maybe and so I thought it'd be a good present for Jack. This is Jack's boat, isn't it? What do we call it? Naughty corner, that's it. As in like nautical corner, naughty corner, because it's Jack's boat and Jack spends a fair amount of time in, in the naughty corner. Um, and Ben's boat is the gunshot and that's called short corner. So we got two corners in the family. Little Rams are pretty cool, right? Um, ben had the big brother and I wanted a small one, but there was just none for sale. Um, once you, you've got to have a Cooter Craft. It's like owning a Ducati in your life. You just have to have one. Now we'll just upgrade every year, right Jack? Get the next big one, and one day we'll get the chief or the boss. Mel and Mark built this boat under their house. So it was, I think it was their sixth boat they ever built. Good for size, punches above its weight, but um, yeah, good, a perfect four weeder. We've caught some big gummies in it. Um, biggest gummy Jack caught was probably 20 kilos or 25 kilos or thereabouts. We've caught lots of whiting, just all bay stuff really. Um, a few tuna, we try and get it. Um, and like I said, one day a marlin, that's my goal. That'd be bloody good. Be scary, but good. Yeah, so I just fitted this last night. So it's a 52 stroke Yamaha. Um, it's actually the same motor I had on it, but this one's electric trim tilt, electric start and oil injected. So um, I didn't think the trim tilt would make as big a difference as what it did, but it, um, yeah, it really did. Yeah, I'm surprised. 37 litres and we did nearly 60 k's and I still not empty, so must be close. I reckon tiller steers are cool. I reckon they just are. They just, they always get a few looks and um, when people see a 30 k's offshore in a tiller, they're like, you're crazy. I'm like, yeah, a little bit, but um, it's good fun. It feels like you're driving a million miles an hour too, so needed a bit of weight up the front today, but it's, it's great fun. Like you feel everything. My bloody left arm was throbbing by the time we got out there. But you feel you like you've got your arm in the water almost. Um, and a two-stroke's awesome because you can wrap it on at like monos almost. And um, the noise of a two-stroke coming out of the water, it's a bit like, make, pumps you up a little bit. Um, I've got a bilge pump in the back here. Um, Lawrence so HDS9 it is. Um, there's some batteries and storage boxes underneath. Um, and then in the middle, we've got a big storage esky, essentially. You can use it as an esky, but I just use it as a storage box. Heap of rod holders. I think there's 10 or thereabouts in it. Um, snapper racks, bait board, just big enough to um, cut up a few salmon and whatever else. And then there's a hatch at the front, which I keep all the anchor and, uh, and all that in up the front and a switchboard. So yeah, so the, um, so the Glennies are, are pretty famous. Little set of islands, essentially 25 k's off the coast. And not many people head down there, but it's glorious. Um, good fishing, you're there by yourself and 40 million march flies. Um, but for the kids and all that, they can dive in the little bays. It's crystal clear, heaps of reef fish. Um, and it's, yeah, pretty, pretty cool to head down there, actually. Do you reckon we should take it into school? Yeah. Pull up at school? Be yeah. like, hey, Miss Robinson, this is the new naughty corner. <laughs>